Donald Trump uh, woke up to the news that the Supreme, uh, the, the Supreme, the uh, special counsel is looking for a January 2nd start date to his trial. And he said this, deranged Jack Smith has just asked for a trial on the Biden indictment. The Biden indict, no, you're the one being indicted, buddy. You don't get to, no, don't switch a ruse. You're being indicted to take place on January 2nd, just ahead of the important Iowa caucuses. Only an out of touch lunatic would ask for such a date one day into the new year and maximum election interference with Iowa. Such a trial, which should never take place due to my First Amendment rights and massive Biden corruption, should only happen, if at all, after the election. The same with other fake Biden indictments, election interference. So after the election, conveniently, when he could theoretically win and you know, uh, you know, pardon himself uh, preemptively. Uh, before we comment, I just want to throw out just a couple of things that I think are interesting. They don't really matter, but they're interesting. He started off another bleat about this by saying, "These fake indictments against me didn't come down from heaven," and I just think that that proves that he has heard our criticism of him of not being sufficiently uh, vigorous and pretending to be a Christian. So I think he's like trying to throw in stuff about religion. It's not really working, and then. I just want to update in terms of his ability to craft awesome nicknames for people he doesn't like. I think we've reached the bottom of the barrel because he has this bleed about Mike Pence. And it's about how he never asked him to disregard the Constitution or whatever, whatever, I don't care. But he goes on to say he is under great pressure and getting very bad advice from Mark Long and perhaps some of his other advisors. Like, there's no reason why you would know who that is. The guy's name, do you know what his name is? This Mark advisor Short. Pence. It's Mark Short, and he decided to call him Mark Long. I hate to break it to you, John, uh, John and, and President Trump. What? Long is usually a compliment. <laughs> oh, I'm aware. <laughs> I'm fully aware of that. Is is he complimenting this guy? It's like, so I, don't, I don't like Pence, but Long is the best. <laughs> <laughs> Why so is he Long? It's just the opposite of <laughs> why would you do that? This guy's so stupid. He's so long. What? <laughs> what? He didn't call him tall. He called him long. His name is short. Okay, you could call him tall if you're just trying to switch it up. He called That's him so long. Weird. I don't. I don't have an answer. <laughs> it's so but bad, what do you think? dude. The say, sadder than calling him Mark Long when his name is Mark Short is that there are people in this world who aren't just obligated to say, that's a brilliant idea, Mr. Trump. There are <laughs> folks on Truth Social who are covered in Cheeto dust just going like, well, that was awesome thing because they long. <laughs> Way to nail it. People think that was a sick burn out there. I just, I you know what? I I I've never, I've literally never been logged into Truth Social, despite the fact that I, literally there's one page in Truth Social I've been to, and it's his. Because I'm not logged in, I can't see the replies. But I have to imagine in this case, even some of his fans must have been like, "Why are you calling him long, bro?" <laughs> Whatever. We'll never have an answer. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.